Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Warhammer 40,000 unboxing video with Zebu Nation and today the citizens of the Imperium should stand and salute and rejoice because the chapter master of the Ultramarines is here. That's right, none other than the Lord of McCrag himself, Marnius Calgar, has arrived. Here he is in all of his blue smurfy glory. Look at him, there he is. And not only that, but he comes with a pair of guards, the Victrix Honor Guard. Take a look, closer look at the back. And here we go. These are brand new sculpts, brand new miniature that just came out right at the end of December here from Games Workshop. You can see you get two Honor Guard here with the Storm Shields and Power Sword. And then there is Calgar himself. He has the uh, Fists of Ultramar, his powerful gauntlets, you know, gauntlets of Ultramar. Anyway outstanding new model just got it in the mail we're gonna take a look gonna open this sucker up get our knife out go to town that's right building up the ultramarines force as you've seen in my recent videos this is the biggest character i've ever bought i've ever got my grubby little hands on normally i just go for like you know your standard captains or whatever I don't normally go for named characters so this is the first real named character I've ever picked up let's see what we get take a look from Calgar as far as I know you can only get this from games workshop website at the moment maybe they'll release it wide at some point but as of now this is all from games workshop is that it? Nope, we got a few bases in the bottom. So there we go, we have three bases. Of course, the Ultramarines stickers, which you always get. Let's take a look at the bases. This looks like the guard bases. Here's the shields, the storm shields, power sword, capes, of course. Looks like, um, <clears throat> you know, if we're going to paint these guys up, Gonna have to do a lot of sub-assemblies, which I am not a fan of. But, you know, when you buy these level of characters, I think you need to take a little bit more time and patience than what I'm used to doing when I paint. And then here is the big man himself, Marnas Calgar. He's got his own special basing you can sit on. There was something interesting on the base that I noticed. At first, I didn't know what it was, but there it is right here. It's actually the crushed skull of a Tyranid that he's actually standing on. If you look on the box, you can kind of see it right here, this little pink guy that he's standing on. It's the crushed skull of a Tyranid. Sort of signifies, I guess, the uh, Tyranid invasion that was eventually um, destroyed when it invaded Ultramar but Calgar was there and we're gonna see as I mentioned this is a brand new sculpt now apparently he's getting upgraded to Primaris Marine status and I don't know exactly how that's gonna happen some kind of radical surgery or something but I don't I didn't think he needed it I mean he was already like a seven wound model so what did he need that for? I don't know, but they do have the stat lines in the back for these new models. The Honor Guard here, take a look at the stat line. Six inch move, plus three weapons ability, four strength, four toughness, three wounds, four attacks, nine leadership, and a two up save for the Honor Guard. Honor of McCrag, they got some special rules. What is these? The Storm Shield gives him a three up invulnerable save. Wow, these guys would be really tough to get rid of. Two up saves naturally, and then a three up invuln is pretty darn good. They can perform heroic interventions as if they were characters. Roll a d6 each time a 
Ultramarine's character loses a wound while they're within three inches of one of the Honor Guard. And on a two-up, a model from this unit can intercept that hit. The Ultramarine's character is not wounded, but this unit takes a mortal wound. So this is kind of like uh, the drones with the Tau. They can do the same thing with drones, except now you have a, a three-wound Honor Guard to take those hits. And there is Kalgar, two up weapon skills, five toughness, eight wounds, two up save. He has the Gauntlets of Ultramar, which have rapid fire 24 inch storm bolters. And then, of course, those monster uh, gauntlets themselves, which times two strength, minus three AP, D3 damage, six attacks. I mean, he could just smash through people. I don't know. He could maybe, you know, he could definitely, like, smash a tank all by himself if he hits all six times doing D3 damage each one. Uh, let's see. If your army is Battleforged, you get two additional command, command points. He's got the Armor of Heraclus. Okay. So it looks like they forgot how to spell either Hercules or Heracles. So they per spelled it Heraclus. Anyway, he gets a 4-up in Vuln save. Um, in addition, all damage suffered by Kalgar is halved. And any friendly Ultramarines unit within 6 inches of Kalgar, you can reroll failed hit wounds. So, he's got a little bit of a stats upgrade. And I don't, I don't necessarily know that he needed it, but we shall see. I'm going to see in the chapter approved, see what his points total went down. Or up, I don't know. Either way, is there points total here? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. So Calgar's points total is 200 points per model. The Victrix Guard is 26 points per model. And then they have to pay for their weapons and equipments, I do believe. Yeah, no, includes war gear for Calgar, does not include war gear for the Honor Guard. So Kalgar, with his war gear, flat 200 points, that's pretty good. That makes him pretty takeable, I tell you what. All right, so that is that. And then we have another little package. We couldn't let just Kalgar go onto the battlefield with just one set of Honor Guard. We have a second set of Ultramarines Honor Guard here that we bought. Going all out. Let's undo this package. Here we go. These guys are resin. I didn't realize that. I guess I didn't read the package very clearly. There we go. So here we have the... Oh yeah, that is totally resin. So there we have the banner bearer. Wow, that is definitely different. I'm going to have to get like a different glue to put these. Actually, I have some resin glue I can use to put these guys together. But anyway, I was not expecting this. I'm thrown off my game. So these are interesting models here. Not used to seeing these. We've got some extra stuff on the sprue here. And uh, we're going to have to clip that out very carefully. But a lot, of, a lot of details on the armor there. That away. And then here we have another guardsman. This one with a big axe and a uh, a bolter of some sort. Just looks like a regular regular bolt gun. Yeah, it's got the curved magazine, so it's just a regular bolt gun. Okay, so here we have a second honor guard, same sort of deal. Guy with an axe and a bolt gun. Again, he's got sort of the winged face mask on there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. He's got the winged face mask, but still, you know, a lot of detail on the front as well. And then finally, we have here the company champion. He's got the power sword and then this other little mini sword. I'm going to be honest, I forgot the name of this other sword, but that's like... It's like the company champion sword. I forget exactly what it's called. The honor blade, maybe something like that. But anyway, this guy is definitely decked out. He's got, you know, a little bit more of an older ancient style of power armor. Maybe even, you know, a relic suit of armor. But he looks very cool, very detailed. 
and he's definitely a beast in melee combat. We don't have books for these guys though. They did not include any books. These are definitely older models. They, look at this, they got the slot bases. Interesting. I thought these were gonna be new models because they were on the, um, the list of items that could be pre-ordered. Interesting. Games Workshop is what they're labeled. Yeah, Games Workshop Limited number, no, it says 2018. So I don't know what's going on here. Are these Forge World models? Could these be Forge World models? That's a possibility. Um, we might, might have to find some options for different bases for these guys. Or we can just use the slot bases. I don't know. It seems, uh, I was not expecting this. But anyway, there you go. So if you order the uh, if you order the Ultramarines Honor Guard, get ready for some resin models and a little bit of a surprise in the package if you're like me and not expecting it. But anyway, there we go. Nice quick one. We have the Chapter Master. We have our Command Squad essentially, and the Ultramarines are ready to go. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye.